What's up guys, it's Easy Cubing, and in this video, I'll be unboxing the RS3 M Maglev 3x3 from CubeDZ.com. So like I said guys, this cube from, comes from CubeDZ.com, so make sure to go check them out. It'll be down below in the description. There's the packaging, nothing else inside. And then here is the cube. This is the new uh, MoYu magnetic cube. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it seems like something is moving around inside, so hopefully that's not anything important. Uh, but yeah, very nice packaging. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here it is, the RS3M from MoYu. Let's check it out. I also have some other cubes here to compare it to as well that are magnetic and that I like. Um, so that way there's something to compare it to. There we go. All right. So here's this, this was moving around. I'm not sure what's inside, I'll check it out. A uh, nice little MoU stand for the cubes. I always love these. Great way to put your cubes on display while they're sitting in your room, just like this. And then here's the cube. Let's check out what's in this first before we get into the cube. Um, we got this. Not too sure what this does. It looks like it explains how to change the screws and then tighten everything on the cube. Oh yeah, check it out. Little screwdriver that comes with it so you can change it as well. And then we have these. And it looks like these are the tools that were on this package that are used to uh, change the way the cube feels. And here is a manual, like always, like most money cubes, it shows you how to solve it. You guys can see there. Um, and then the designers of the cubes are here. And then this looks how to solve, like how to solve it in uh, Chinese, I'm guessing, what it looks like. So yeah, that's pretty basic on all the cubes, but let's check out the actual cube and see how it turns. Uh, right away, first impressions, I like the way that the color scheme looks. Um, I don't like super, super bright colors. I like, currently I'm mating this, the Diane Zanchi uh, V5. And if you guys check out the green here, they're pretty similar. Um, a lot of newer uh, stickerless speed cubes though have a very, very bright green. And I don't like that, so that's already a good thing for me. And then the yellow is pretty bright, but that's something I can get used to. So let's check it out, open this up, and do some first turns. All right guys, here is the cube, and uh, let's do some first turns. So first of all, it feels very, very sandy. Um, you can probably hear that right now uh, while I turn the cube, but I'm gonna uh, do a close up of it so you guys can listen to this. It feels very sandy, yeah. It's obviously magnetic, so it clicks in very well. I do like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of sandy cubes, but I actually don't mind this one right now as I feel it, as it turns. It also feels very light in the hand, which I like, and then heavy in the center. Kind of a weird feeling and hard to explain in a video if you're not feeling it yourself. Um, but yeah, so let's check out some uh, the corner cutting. 45 with ease and then reverse. A little bit of lock up there. The reverse doesn't seem to be too great, but it could be the way that the cube is tensioned. Uh, it's obviously stock. Yeah, the blue is doing a lot better. Uh, yeah, corner curtain looks great. 
Um, let's do some solves on it and scramble it up. All right, guys, now let's just do a solve of the cube. Here we go. I'm not warmed up, by the way, but it's all right. Uh, 13.3, not really a very good solve, but I'm also not warmed up, so not too bad. So if you do like fast cubes, this could be a cube for you. Um, I'm used to slower cubes personally and then turning faster, so I do gotta get used to it a little bit. But uh, yeah, overall, I like the way it feels. Very nice packaging, the magnets are very nice, so is the corner cutting. Let's check out the mechanism and see what it's like. If I could open the cube, it's actually very hard to open up. Check that out. The corner piece actually goes inside. I have not seen that before. A piece so thick like that that actually fits in there. Um, but all right, we got that to come out. So this is what the edge piece looks like. Oh, This is what the edge piece looks like. I don't know much about, um, you know, cube design, but it looks pretty standard for the most part. Love the blue and red contrast. And then here's the edge piece. Um, that looks new to me right here though, this popping out. Just sweet, and then whenever you put them together, they should click because it is magnetic. Let's see, yeah. That is what it looks like. Sweet, all right, so let's do a couple more solves. And then I'll get some close-ups of the cube. And that's going to be the unboxing video. And then I will do a comparison either to my main cube, um, other good cubes in the market, or, you know, I guess the cube I like the most. Um, and see how it stands up versus the cube that I'm in with. So yeah, let's do some more solves, and that will be the video. There's a pretty good solve, guys. There's a 11.0, almost a 10 second solve. And it looks like I'm locking up a lot when I'm turning it. Um, and it's because I personally like using cubes that turn slower and then take more time to use. I don't love super fast cubes, but that obviously is how I turn. So it could be different for you. Um, but this cube is definitely very, very fast and super sandy out of the box. Another 11 second solve, pretty good. All right guys, overall for the unboxing, this cube gets a thumbs up from me. Um, I like the way the colors look. I also really love the middle sticker on it from Moyu. Let's see if that will zoom in. Um, I'm gonna have to break it in though, do a couple thousand solves on it, um, and then I'll let you guys know um, what I really think about it. But uh, first impressions, I like it. I wanna do some more solves on it, let you guys know what I think. As always guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.